Today we're taking a look at Arcade Car Controller by Perfect Games. I'll just be showing you the basics of how to get your vehicle up and running in the first video of the series. So let's jump straight in. Okay, so I've imported Arcade Car Controller into Unity as well as the Polygon City Pack by Sinti Studios as I'll be using the taxi as my vehicle. So to get started, we'll go to Window, Arcade Car Controller, Create Car. And for our car preset, if we left click, we'll have the options here to select a preset for our vehicle. And this will change how our vehicle is configured by default. So in this case, I'll just leave it as is. And for our file name, this one here is just more of a file friendly version. And then the in-game name is just something a little bit prettier. So we'll chuck a space in there for the description. We'll just give it a basic description. And then for your color presets, in here are all the colors that you can paint your vehicle. You can change these but you can also change them later, so we'll just leave them as is for now. And then as far as unlocking your vehicle, you can set whether it's unlocked by default, whether it's unlocked by money, and you can set how much you want to pay to unlock it, or unlock by track completed. If you're just setting up your vehicle, you may not have a track to put in here, so you can come back and change that later, and just leave it as unlocked for now. So then we'll select Create Car. So we'll open this prefab that's been created, and you can see it's based on the vehicle that we selected initially. So the next thing we'll do, we'll find the vehicle that we want to use and we'll drag it in. The transforms will be the same for both vehicles as we're working inside the prefab. So the vehicle we've just dragged in, we'll right click and we'll unpack the prefab. Now we'll open up the wheels and we want to then select a wheel on the vehicle we dragged in. So in this case, the front left and we'll copy the component. And for the matching collider, we will paste the component value only. So what this is doing is just moving the colliders into the correct location to match our wheels. So if we go through and do that for all of our colliders to get everything in line with where it needs to be. Okay, and then we'll open these up a bit further. And for the wheels that are on our original model, we will delete them out. Then these wheels here, we'll drag them in to where the old wheels were. Now for the wheels we've dragged in, we'll just make sure we have no collision attached to them. So in this case, I've got a sphere collider, so we'll just remove those. And the last thing for configuring the wheels, we'll select all of the colliders. And if we have a closer look, you can see the colliders are a little bit too small. You can just adjust these to a number that works for you. In my case, I found 0.36 was a pretty good number and it matched what I need. The old mesh for our vehicle there, so we'll just delete that game object. And then the vehicle that we've dragged in, we can bring that up into the view. You may have a few child game objects that are attached to it and that is fine. Then for any colliders that are attached to your vehicle, we'll also just remove those two. And then if we come around to the back of our vehicle, you can see we've got the exhaust on the right, but the particle system is on the left. So the easiest way to do that is under the parent of your game object, you can see the backfire particles, you left click that and then it will select it for you. We'll just bring that into line with roughly where your exhaust system is. If you happen to have dual exhausts on your vehicle, then you can just easily duplicate that, take that over to the other exhaust under your backfire particles. Your second one there, you can just drag that in and then you'll have both attached. In my case, I only have the one, so we'll reset that and delete the other one. And then the last thing here for the base view, as we've deleted the old mesh renderer, we then need to find the game object that has our vehicle mesh and drag that down. And then if we go to the main game object for our vehicle and we attach a set color for mask material, if you want your vehicle to be paintable, and then do this to any game objects that are in here that have a mesh renderer. So you may have one mesh for the base of your vehicle, another mesh for your door, another mesh for your front back bumpers. If you do happen to have that, then attach it to any game objects that you want to be paintable. Things like your glass and your plates and your steering wheel. Obviously, you don't want to be able to paint them, so you don't need to attach it to those. So now if we head back to the scene, okay, so then we'll head back to the main menu, we'll hit play, and we'll select start race, select a track, and you can see our vehicle here is now available. 
So we'll have our name that we selected as well as our description. And when it comes to painting, some vehicles will work better than others. So in this case, the default color of this vehicle is yellow. So when I select white, it's what it's doing here is just changing the color of the material that is attached to your vehicle. So the white is just the default color of your texture for your vehicle. And then when you select a different color, it's just coloring that material. So as you can see, a yellow material with a blue overlay will give me a bit of a strange color, but some colors it'll work nicer with. So the red on the yellow the purple maybe not so much, the green doesn't look too bad. So it just depends how your vehicle is set up. The way I got around this in the past with this particular vehicle was importing it into Blender, retexturing it, changing all the yellow to white, bringing it back into my game, and then when I would select the colors, the white would be white, and the silver would be silver, and so on. So again, just depends on what your circumstances are, how your vehicle is set up. So let's just say you've added a couple of vehicles and you want to get rid of one. Let's just have a look at how to do that. So if you head to ACC, Prefabs and Cars, you'll see your new vehicle in here. You can just left click and hit delete. Now there's a few other things you'll also need to change. So if we head back and we go to Balance, Cars, you'll have a file here for the preset of your vehicle. So you can just delete that also. Then back under Balance, you have your regimes. So open that. Under each of these, your vehicle would have been added. So we'll just left click on that element. That should now say none. And we'll hit the minus to just get rid of them. And so you should be back to your default configuration there. So that's just the basics of setting up your own vehicle. We'll go in a bit more detail in a future video of configuring your vehicle as well as setting up your own track. If you found the video useful, then please give it a like. And if there is anything specific you want to see in a future video, then let me know in the comments. And of course, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with the videos as they come out. Thanks for watching.